Here we go into a great couple of problems. Especially if you're an AB or BC calc, you're going to want to use this skill tons of times. You'll be tested on it a lot. And in other college classes and some high school classes too. This is using the fundamental theorem to figure out a missing value on the function that came before what you're given. Say what? Let's see what we're talking about here. Given g prime of x equals x squared minus 5 and g of negative 3. So g prime asked about g. Find g of 2. So always go with levels. You're at g prime. You're asked about g, which means we're going up a level, backwards. We need to integrate. You're given that you have a value at negative 3 and you want to value at 2. So these are essentially your bounds. So what we're doing is we're going to look at this as the integral from negative 3, the lower value, to 2 of g prime of x. And I'm just going to write it out like this. dx is equal to, fundamental theorem, it would be g of 2 minus g of negative 3. That's the fundamental theorem. Always state it out. Give yourself that simple template and then just follow what you've laid out for yourself. So that's the template we need to solve for this. It's going to end up becoming an equation. Check it out. All I'm going to do is add g of negative 3 to both sides, like an equation. The variable in this is g of 2. So g of negative 3 plus the integral from negative 3 to 2 of g prime of x dx is equal to g of 2. That's it, which makes a lot of sense. It's the equation. In an equation, you undo what we don't want on that side, which is adding g of negative 3, and that gives us what we want. So all we now need to do is plug in everything. OK, well, g of negative 3 is given as 7. The integral we're going to have to do out step by step. That's going to be plus. I'm going to take this and do it off to the side. So the integral from negative 3 to 2, a little bit of side work, of x squared minus 5 is not so bad. We'll handle it. We'll get its value and we'll plug it in. First fundamental theorem time. The integral of x squared minus 5 is equal to x cubed over 3 minus 5 times x, all evaluated from negative 3 to 2. Nice. So all I'm going to do now is plug in each of these values and subtract. So that'll be 2 cubed over 3, which is 8 thirds, minus 10, 5 times 2. That's f of b minus f of a. Plug in negative 3. Negative 3 cubed is negative 27. Divided by 3 is negative 9. And minus 5 times negative 3 is a plus 15. Ooh, let's take our time simplifying this. This is 8 thirds minus 10 minus 6. That's what that'll simplify to is minus 16. 8 thirds minus 16 is 8 thirds minus 48 thirds is minus 40 thirds. So that right there is that definite integral. So it'll be plus a negative 40 thirds. Sweet. So this is 21 thirds minus 40 thirds, negative 19 thirds is the value that we get for g of 2. So that's what g of 2 is equal to. Again, the key there, set up that fundamental theorem with notation like this. And then you're giving yourself the directions. Plug in every value. Oh, I got to integrate that? We can do that. Oh, g of 2? Yeah, don't know it. Leave it as a variable. Oh, g of negative 3? I should add that to both sides, and it's 7. And then combine all the pieces of information. Give yourself those ingredients. Oh. I love doing that. It's awesome. I'm going to give you another problem similar to it, but this time a little bit of a difference, but you'll see it's still using the fundamental theorem. We're given f prime is equal to 3x to the fourth, and f of 1 is 2. Find f of 0. Okay, think about this for a second. You're at f prime. You want f. We've got to go backwards a step. Therefore, we've got to integrate. That diagnosis is important. Now, from here, I'm going to set up everything like we did before. I know that the integral from... 0, the lower value, is why I'm putting that down there, to 1. So the value I want to the value I have of f prime of x dx. We know, based on the fundamental theorem of calculus, that that's equal to f of 1 minus f of 0. Nice. Now it's time to fill in some information. So let's do that. Well, hmm, we're solving for f of 0. OK, if I'm doing that, let's solve this out. Essentially, I could subtract f of 0, sorry, add f of 0 over to the other side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll add f of 0, and I'll subtract this to the other side. And I'll tell you why that makes sense in a second. 
So we're just going to write that on out right there. The reason why this makes sense is, again, I'm solving for f of 0. I add f of 0 to that side. I subtract the integral to this side. And now I've isolated my variable, what I want to find. Now just follow the ingredients of the recipe. So f of 0 is equal to f of 1, given it's 2, minus, let's go off on the side and do that. So the integral from 0 to 1 of f prime, that would be 3x to the fourth dx. Now when we anti-differentiate that, that's going to be x to the fifth over 5 times the 3 is 3 fifths. And that's going to be evaluated from 0 to 1. Not bad, not bad at all. That's going to be, well, f of b, plug in 1 to the fifth is 1 times 3 fifths minus plug in 0, you're going to get 0. So that is equal to 3 fifths. Replace that with the number we just got for it. 2 minus 3 fifths is 10 fifths minus 3 fifths. f of 0 is 7 fifths. Oh, it's beautiful. Always write out that template of the fundamental theorem first. Figure out what level you're on. I'm on f prime, go back to f, integrate. And it all makes sense if you're a physics student because of this idea. Think of it this way. g of 2 in this problem is like the end because g of negative 3 comes before it. So if I add the beginning value plus how much I change, that's what the area is, how much I change the displacement, then I'll get the ending value. This one makes sense in much the same way. f of 1 is where we end up, right? So if where I end up minus how much I've changed, well, that'll get me back to where I started. There you have it. So if you're following that part, great. If not, no big deal. Go with those templates. Start with the fundamental theorem. You'll rock these problems. All we have left in this lesson, a video of why the concept of the fundamental theorem makes sense. And that's going to be sick. Peace.